seven years old when I was introduced to, you know, to hardcore by my eldest brother, Roger, who was Roger Moret of Agnostic Front. You know, I got into it and uh, absorbed it. I was around it, you know, and then eventually did my own band and uh, here we are. Madball all came from, you know, Agnostic Front, you know what I mean? It was like uh, I was a little kid traveling around with these guys. I mean, I obviously had a normal life as well school and whatever else um it wasn't like i was living 24 7 in cbgb's or something you know what i mean it you know i had that aspect of my life but as far as the music stuff's concerned they sort of encouraged me to go further with it you know that's when we decided to do ball of destruction which was the first seven inch and that was you know you know, my brother Roger and Vinny, guys like that, they were like, hey, you should do it. We should do a, a project with you singing. And so that was, that was, that was, you know, they were really directly responsible for me getting into, you know, hardcore. Like I said before, Madball was more or less a side project of Agnostic Front. You know, it was the guys from Agnostic Front with me singing on it. And even the first seven inch was all uh, old Agnostic Front songs, songs that they hadn't used, some that they had, did use on United Blood and their old stuff. It was all old stuff, all very old school hardcore stuff. After the second seven inch, we were like, uh, well, you know, we didn't have to write some music for this stuff. And that's, it's, it started to form its, you know, it started to become its own thing, you know? And then set it off was when it really uh, became, that was solidified, that mad ball, of course, Madball and Gnostic Front will always be family, but that was when Madball really was like its own entity, its own entity, you know what I mean? And uh, as it should be. You know? Doc Martin Stomp, <laughs> that's the original name, Doc Martin Stomp, and uh, you know what it is, it's just a, it's just a family, man, it's just, it's just a, a, a collective of, of, of friends, uh, you know, uh, musicians, and it's just a, a group of friends, like a family, we just, we just back, you know, we just help each other out, you know, we support each other's music, we, you know, support each other in any way, in every way, possible, you know what I mean? We have production companies now, we put on shows, some guys do music, some guys do security, you know? So it's just like a collective of like, productive, creative people. Trashmark does a lot of our, uh, well, they, they, we've been working with them for years now in Europe. And um, so they, you know, you can, it's available in Europe through them. Usually, you know, I'll, I'll have people that I know that are artists or whatever work on stuff. And sometimes, you know, people like Trashmark, they'll help out as well. Sometimes they come up with a design that we like and we say, oh, okay, let's do that together, you know. Uh, or sometimes I have the designs from, you know, various artists that, work with me and I pass it on to them and uh, like right now we have like sort of a throwback series going on with like uh, the set it off shirt which is doing really well and uh, we're gonna do one for demonstrating my style as well and probably look my way and probably every album cover I think it I think it's cool I think it'll be a, a, I think people appreciate that and, and, and do good <laughs> Well, 
but from what I've seen, you know, I mean, I wasn't there from the first day, very, very beginning, but I, I, did, I did come into it early on. And uh, I mean, it's come a long way, you know. The, f the fact that it's so international now is crazy, you know, because I remember when it was this like really tight knit little music scene, you know. Now it's grown into, into what it is, what you see here, you know, which I think is great because I think the integrity is still there. It's still underground music. It's still about the lifestyle, but it's, it's evolved. It's cool. It's cool to see where it started and how far it's come now and who knows how, f what, you know, it'll even, how much more it'll even blossom in the future. But yeah, I think it was always open-minded. That was the intention. Later on, people came in that try to make it more political and try to make it, bring different politics and different things into it. But I think the original, original idea was to be open-minded, you know, to be yourself, come into the mix, bring something to the table. It was, it was about being open-minded and then different things started happening and people brought closed-minded ideas into the picture and that put up a lot of walls and, but I think we're at a good place right now. The essence is still there, but there's a lot more open-mindedness, like you said, and people are a lot more, you know, it's good. <laughs>